Seems like the older I get, the more often people seem to offer up free advice. Especially in regards to things that I'm really passionate about and how to succeed in them. But more often than not, the people giving up this advice are by no means successful in any of these fields. I'll give you an example. You've heard me mention my band on this channel before. If you've made it to the end of any of my videos, you'd know that I plug it every single time. Well, early on in the band's formation, we were trying to find a way to get money to do the things that we need to do. Obviously, being a new band starting out playing shows, you're not going to make a whole lot of money. So we tried to game a pseudo spot sponsorship from a local business and the meeting with the business was terrible absolutely insane the owners were very successful in their own right but had no idea how to run a band let alone how to talk to people one of the first things that they mentioned was that we need a gimmick they were saying things like flamboyant costumes ridiculous overacting on stage props all the crazy stuff that you might see a band like kiss do well here's a wake-up call i'm not gene simmons and we're nowhere near kiss i mean none of our band is even jewish the owner went on to say that he was in a band when he was younger. I asked him the name of the band and I had never heard of it. Neither had anyone else in the room. Why am I going to take advice from a guy who was in a band that I had never heard of? Obviously these techniques didn't work for you, why would they work for me? Another thing that absolutely drove me crazy was the comments on our appearance. In particular our lead singer. I don't know if it was mentioned directly in the meeting but I believe it was stated soon after that our lead singer would have to lose some weight. These were all things that were mentioned prior prior to even discussing what kind of sponsorship deal we were getting. And from the way that they were talking, it seemed like they wanted to be more of a manager than a sponsorship. From my understanding, a sponsorship gives you money to do what you do. They give you money because they believe in what you do. They give you money to further accomplish your goals. A manager, however, will give these suggestions that these gentlemen were giving in order to further along the band. And if you don't agree with your manager, you can simply fire him and stop paying him. I know we're talking about how free advice is usually bad, but I'm going to give a little free advice that I think is actually pretty good. If someone's trying to tell you how to do something and they're not successful at it themselves, and they start out the sentence by saying, you know what you should do, just stop them there and say, thanks for the insight, but I think I'm okay. Because whatever they're about to say obviously hasn't worked for them. The best advice that I can give, just do what you love. Keep trying new things. Stay true to yourself and it'll eventually all come together. Everybody's looking for a quick fix or that special advice that's going to jumpstart their careers. But honestly, if you do what you love and work hard at it, you're going to succeed. Well, that's my story about free advice. If any of you have a similar story, please leave it in the comment section below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Monday and Wednesday. And if you think this video is going to help someone that you know that's trying to succeed, just share it. And as always, I'm Mr. Moo. See you next time.